the rational zero test is very helpful. In one, it tells you all the possible rational zeros. But remember, ladies and gentlemen, we have discussed rational zeros, irrational zeros, and complex zeros. So just because it's a rational zero doesn't mean it's the only types of zeros you can have. But rational zeros are nice, um, for instance, because once if we know a rational zero, then it's much easier to use a rational zero for synthetic division than it is to use a irrational or a complex zero. So all, to find all the rational zeros, all you simply do is take the factors of p over the factors of q. So plus or minus the factors of p over plus or minus the factors of q. So all you simply do is just factor p and then factor q. So the factors of p are plus or minus 6, plus or minus 3, plus or minus 2, plus or minus 1. Does everybody understand that? Then q, the only factors of 2 are plus or minus 2, comma, plus or minus 1. So now to write in all of the possibilities of all of your possible factors, you just do each of these numbers over each one. So 6 over 2. So I, you guys can write it out, but it just takes a little bit longer to do it that way. 6 over 2 and 3 You are exactly correct. That's what I'm trying to explain to you guys, where you don't have to do it this long. But I have a feeling that people are still having trouble understanding what I'm doing. So I'm going to write it the whole way out and then show you the simplified form. Does everybody see how I wrote every single term in the numerator over every single term in the denominator? Yes? How did you get those numbers from How did I get the numbers what? They're just the factors. All the factors of 6, 6, 3, 2, and 1. Does that make sense? Yes? No? You're just writing the factors of p over the factors of q. Now, like Sven said, you can simplify them. So 6 over 2 is 3. Plus or minus 3 over 2 will leave. 2 over 2 is just 1. Plus or minus 1 half. Plus or minus 6. 3 over 1 is 3, but we already have 3. So I'm not going to rewrite that. 2 over 1 is just going to be 2. And then plus or minus 1 over 1 is just 1, but we already have 1. So I'm just going to leave that out. Now, typically, if we're going to write our answer, though, we would write it from like least to greatest or greatest to least, right? I was just doing it in a simplified form, though, but I'll just leave it at that. And that's all you guys had to do for that. That's it. That's it. That's all you had to do on your test. That's all you had to do on your homework. That's it.